Well, I'm very pleased to be here at Griffith University for a groundbreaking announcement. My government is today investing $5 million over three years to continue the outstanding research uh, that was started under our Australian of the Year, Alan McKay Sims, into spinal injury research. It's about taking cells out of the nose, growing them into dish and putting them into the injured spinal cord. And um, uh, we of course did the, the first, the world first clinical trial uh, in, in the earlier 2000s. The project has enjoyed long-term support of the Perry Cross Spinal Research Foundation and of course the Clem Jones Foundation. Perry Cross is well known for his advocacy for this research to help find a cure. And I must credit Perry for his drive and enthusiasm that led to this project coming to fruition. And I do want to thank you, Perry. The most important contributors are the members of the public who share their stories of spinal cord injury and their hopes for a therapy. Of these, Perry Cross is their greatest advocate. A few years ago, he asked me, why don't you run a clinical trial? As if he was asking me what time it was, you know. It's an easy thing to do. But he was absolutely right. This is our purpose of being scientists, and that's to do, deliver a benefit to society. And so began the incredible drive by the Perry Cross Spinal Research Foundation to make this happen. And thanks to their funding and support, we are here today. When I first started in neuroscience 20 years ago, people thought it was impossible to regenerate the spinal cord and then because of many teams around the world we can sh we've sh they've shown that it can be done. Uh, that is a real boost to us as scientists because uh, it means that we can actually work towards something rather than just purely academic research. Talking to clinicians, um, the surgeons at the PA hospital, I've talked to them and they're frustrated that both, the best they can do is just patch up the people and hope they can recover naturally. Uh, they want a therapy that they can, they can try and help repair the spinal cord. Um, and talking to the people who live with spinal cord injuries, they obviously want, want therapy too. The, the aim is at the end of the three years that we will be proceeding to clinical trial. Might be earlier, might be later. This $5 million investment, uh, and we thank the Motor Accident Insurance Commission and all of our um, uh, stakeholders who have been involved, uh, as well as our partnership with Griffith, it really is a great outcome. We hope that we're able to come back at some stage in the future and announce that there is a cure.